Hello everyone, Josh here again, and also I just want to let you all guys know what actually was going on with yesterday's vlog. Um, yesterday I went to the post office and they basically said that they would re-deliver this package um, sometime in the next 24 hours, which they actually did. The only thing is, it says please ring bell. They actually did not actually ring the bell this morning, which was a pain in my ass. So that aside, we've actually got the damn thing. So I'm gonna tell you basically what this thing is. It's basically a cookbook from the guys at Twisted. Uh, I've actually bought this myself. I'm not in, in, in any way sponsored by them. This is bought with my own money. Just gonna show you a quick unboxing and basically what you can expect in something like this. So we're gonna unbox this. Kept this here just in case. It's just a little uh, little pen knife. Just in case we ever need it. Well, not pen knife, but a multi-tool. Basically, but there are all sorts there and there. But that's just here, yeah, just in case we ever need it. And I've also a bit of a daft situation. I actually ordered two of these when I first got them. So I've actually got two of these cookbooks. One for myself, and I'm also going to be sending one to my dad up north. So this will be something quite sweet for him to be honest. But yeah, overall this book has about 30 different recipes made for sharing. Uh, for heater cake, potato volcanoes, uh, breakfast nachos and more. Brought to you by Team Twisted. These guys are actually quite good. If, you've, if you don't actually know what Team Twisted is, um, on Facebook, if you type in Twisted, it'll come up straight away with a bit of a, uh, bit, they're a bit like a cooking channel that they keep on there. They keep usually maybe two, about one to two minute videos on different uh, recipes and stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna be doing one today. There's no point doing this because it's the exact same thing. So that'll be put to one side. And basically, this is what you come to expect. Nice little roll now like this. There's quite a lot here. It's a lot of, quite a lot of content. So for breakfast you've got breakfast nachos. Uh, just breaking down a few. Double down breakfast muffins, bacon av avocado eggs, party. Buffalo chicken party buns, cheeseburger muffins, buffalo fried calamari, quite a bit here. Tokyo sandwiches, that sounds really good. Pizza donuts, oh, we've got to have a look at that one. Fajita cake, this is like the next level kind of stuff. Whole tikka cauliflower, Twister's chicken fatty, I don't know how you pronounce it actually. Guinness beer can chicken, that doesn't sound too bad. Butter chicken lasagna. Posing barbecue pulled duck buns, that doesn't sound too bad that actually. Pizza star, mm. maybe, as you can tell I kind of like pizza. We'll have a look at this pizza donuts on page 30. I tell you we'll actually have a quick bit of a run through. Bit of an introduction there. These look nice, I'm not going to lie. Bacon avocado eggs, this looks really nice, I'm not going to lie. Buffalo chicken party buns, now that looks gorgeous. They do look fairly small, I'm not gonna lie, they actually look quite small in size, so if I actually made that quite bigger, that actually wouldn't be too bad. Buffalo chicken party buns. Yeah, that actually quite quite good as a little dinner. That was some sweet potato fries or just normal potato fries with a bit of um, paprika on it and things like that. Just a few bits and bobs. Cheeseburger muffins. The, uh, I don't know, I'll have to try that, see how that goes. Buffalo fried calamari, that, don't, that actually does not look too bad, I'm not going to lie. So there's like a bit of glare on the camera as well, I'm just testing this one out to today. That actually does not look too bad. I actually could do a bit of better light coming in to be honest. More ambience. Erupting potato volcanoes, that don't look too bad then actually. <laughs> Cheeseburger party buns, lovely fried chicken melt. Pizza donuts, there we go. That looks pretty quite that looks actually quite good, I'm not gonna lie. I like the cheeses and things like that, so I can actually get some nice cheeses going for that. Slow cooker for heated chicken nachos. We actually use a slow cooker quite a lot where you live where, from where we are now. We use a slow cooker quite a lot. 
So that actually might be something we might use. Cauliflower cheese croquettes. That don't look too bad. Old Tika cauliflower. Now, once you get to know me, I'm actually not that fussed about veg. Like, I'm ne I, I, I never used to eat veg until I think it was about two years ago. So, this would be something quite different for me to try out, actually. So, maybe I might have a, might have a go at it. Twisted chicken. Oh, Jesus. Twisted chicken. Twisted chicken fatty. That looks nuts. I'm not going to lie, that looks nuts. Camembert hedgehog bread. I actually, no, I've, I've seen this on a video. Yeah, they put one cheese in there, one cheese in there and camembert in the middle. And it's basically just like a bit of a, the basic pick pieces of bread off and you just like kind of dip it in. It's actually quite nice. It's quite nice. I've, I've seen it several times and it does look really quite good. Philly cheese steak potato nachos. That's something I actually would not mind doing. Guinness beer can chicken. What the bloody hell? That's nuts. I'm not gonna lie, that is nuts. Butter chicken lasagna. This is something I love. I love lasagna. Pulls and barbecue pulled. That actually looks nice. Pulled duck buns. Poison. Poison. I can't actually pronounce that to be I sound that. Yes, I do. Croquet monsieur croissant lasagna. <laughs> Me trying to be looking French. That actually does not look too bad. I actually wouldn't mind having that. Not gonna lie. But yeah, there's all sorts of different bits and bobs. Pizza star, uh, Snickers salami. Snickers the sa salami. Is it? Small muffin cheesecakes. Vegan avocado ice cream. I actually don't mind that. I don't know. And there's your acknowledgements, and these are the guys. Tom Jackson does the food. Harry Bamber does the video. Jimmy Balding is the co founder. And Paul Bielba is the co founder. I'll tell you something, these guys are really good. I actually really cannot fall to my love. And basically, that is the cookbook, essentially. And they've got tons upon tons of different videos on their Twisted site on Facebook. You can actually search them up on YouTube, I believe. YouTube.com forward slash Twisted. And honestly, these guys, are just, they actually really are good. Um, if I actually do find the links, I'll put them in the description below so you can actually find them, so you can find these people. So yeah, that's Twisted Cookbook, and stay tuned for more videos coming up. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.